All right, so let's say we want to add a software instrument track, right? So you can click the plus button. If you don't have any tracks by default, it'll automatically open up. But um, if, if uh, go ahead and hit the plus button and then you'll get this menu right here and I'll hit create. And here's the issue. It opens up the library. I can click on these uh, different settings here and it'll change out the sound. And um, that's cool and all, but when you're an experienced Logic user, you don't want this default setting to come up because there's extra steps for you just to remove all the stuff and add what you really wanted. So the way to get rid of this default window, and not to mention, like, this is this is an annoyance right here, just having to do this all the time. All right, so let's close that. And we're going to hit delete. So now that I have no tracks up, it automatically is asking me what do I want to load in. Um, or you could just hit the plus button. So we'll click on software instrument. We're going to click this little details arrow. And then we're going to change uh, this setting right here, open library. That was that sidebar here. So uncheck that instrument from the default patch. We're going to select empty channel strip and that's it. Output, I keep it to one, two and everything else is just fine. Hit create, bam, there we go. So now I have an empty track. So if I wanted to add, let's say four more, I can close this too now. If I want to add four more, hit create, it'll add four more empty ones. And you can see that if I go to the mixer right here, everything is empty. Now let's say if I wanted to add some plugins, right? So I'll click on here. Um, let's add some plugins. So let's say we add the compressor. We had another compressor here. We'll put an EQ there, put an EQ there, let's put an EQ there too, let's add another compressor. Now there's a quicker way to do this, right? So um, I'm going to undo all that. Okay. So let's say if I go to the compressor here, open up this compressor. Um, I'll just move it to the side. So we'll open up this compressor and let's pick a setting here. We'll go to drums, classic drums. There you go. Um, the easiest way, if you just wanted to move it a few times over, manually you can hold the option key on the keyboard here and then click and drag it over and you have to click it right in the middle because you don't want to click this or this little menu right this one will power it off this one will go into this menu you want to click right here in the middle right where those little sliders are so i'll click on that drag it over and i can copy it as many times as i want now this can still be tedious in itself if you're just doing it to a few tracks that's fine but let's just, you know, let's say you're trying to do it to like 10 tracks or 20 tracks, then um, it could it could slowly be, um, you know, something that slows down your workflow. So a quick way to do this, let's say if you wanted to apply uh, the same plugin, right, is you can highlight all the tracks. You click and you highlight all the tracks and then you add a plugin. So I'll go down here to the bottom and I'll pick a delay. All right, so we'll pick this one right here. And bam, just like that, it added the delay to all the tracks. Now, just like I added it, I can also take it off, right? So once again, just to illustrate, I'm just unselecting it and then selecting it again. You don't have to do this. If it's selected, that is fine. I'm just illustrating that we first select the track here and then we're gonna just take one off and it'll do it to the whole row, right? And if I do the whole row, take everything off like that as well. Now that will also add, see if I go back to the compressor, let's add the compressor up here. It'll add everything there, but it's a default compressor. So, you know, let's just assume this was like a four stack of vocals and you want the same setting on, on all the vocals. You want the same EQ and you want the same compress, compression. I do it all the time. Uh, you, you still have the default setting, so you'll still have to open each one. All right, let's say, let's, let's go to this one first, so. I'll click on this one right here and then um, let's make some adjustments here, right? So let's just assume this was what we wanted. And then I would go to the next one here, which is this one. And now I have uh, the same thing. I would have to click over here and make my adjustments, right? That's pretty tedious. Uh, a quick way to do that is to hit the copy button here and I'll go to the third one. Since we haven't altered this one, copy and paste. So that's a quick way to do it. Um, comes in very handy. I use it a lot. But let's say if you want to do this to four or five, and you wanted to do it, uh, uh, take a f uh, uh, have a few more, uh, a few less steps to um, uh, to add these plugins in the settings. Then what you're going to have to do is copy the preset settings and then paste them across. Right. So 
just to kind of illustrate, let's go ahead and let's get rid of all these quickly and just set them back to default. So that way we can see the difference. So I'll go ahead and go no plugin. Okay, and then we will add, let's just add one right here, compression. There we go. And we're going to select this. I'll just drop it down a little bit. That's fine. So now I want to add this across the whole board. Um, so the, the best way to do that with the with the preset setting, right? We did it earlier, but it 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 added the um, compression plugin, but it left it at the default state, right? So if I go here and I go to default, where is default? Recall default. So I left it at this state. That doesn't do me any good because I still have to go in here and tweak. So what we want to do is let's see if I can undo that back. There we go. So what we want to do is we want to copy this custom setting that I have here, right? This is, I put this on the vocal, it sounds great. And I want to paste this across with the preset. So we're going to first copy it and then we're going to paste it across. But how, how we do it is a little different. So we're going to copy the whole channel strip. We're going to go to setting up here, click and hold that. And then we're going to go to co copy channel strip setting. Okay. And then we're going to paste it. Now you would think that you could just highlight all of them, go to settings, and then paste plugins only, right? And if I did it, it didn't, it didn't work. It only did one. And it kept my same setting, but it didn't do it across all the, the selected strips, the uh, channels. The, the way to do it, and I'm showing you this because naturally that's what we would do. We would just go to copy, uh, paste plugins. And I used to do that for years. What you have to do, and I'm not sure why, but you have to use the key command here. Paste channel strip setting. This key command. So if I click on this right now, just to illustrate again, it's not pasting it across everything. But if I go over here and let's look, oops, sorry, let's look at the key command. It's um, option command V. All right, so I'm going to do that on my keyboard. Option command V. Now look at that. It pasted everything. If I open these up, you can see they are all this custom plug in with the blackface compressor. And that's how you would do that. So um, you can also do that with multiple plugins. So let's go ahead, let's add some more tracks. I'll just add 10 more. Okay, and I'm going to delete this, these three right here. I'll add an EQ here. Something like that. And I want to, well, let's go ahead and add another one. Let's add, I don't know, let's add a delay or something. Just to illustrate this, and I necessarily, I wouldn't have a delay on each vocal track. I would have it in a bus. But just to illustrate once again, so we're going to pick, let's pick um, one of these, doesn't matter. Okay, so now we want to copy this setting across. So I'm going to go settings, copy channel strip settings, highlight everything, and then we're going to do option command V. There we go. And that's how I do it. Very quick, very simple, the fewest steps possible. Another tip, let's say if I want to rearrange some of these plugins. So the, I, the EQ comes in second after the compressor. Let's say I want to EQ first. I want to cut some of the bass out. Right, I want to cut some of this bass out before it hits the compressor. Okay, something like that. Something like this. Here we go. So I want to cut some. I just added a low cut right here. All right, something like that. And I want to move this up. So what you'll do is just drag it, paste it right on top, and it swaps positions. And then if I wanted to copy this across, I could do that again. I could hit copy, highlight everything here, command option V. Give it a second, there we go.